I'm Adam from Army Painter, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Dungeons & Dragons Nozzle's Marvelous Brush Set. Nothing brings the Dungeons & Dragons universe to life quite like the creatures that inhabit it. And playing with painted models, whether it's your mighty heroes or the foul monsters that you might encounter along the way, really brings the adventure to life right before your eyes. So let's get right to it. I've already opened a box of the Nozzle's Marvelous Brush set. Nozzler says I myself started with magical brushes like these before I invented my marvelous pigments. So these actually came first. It answers the age-old question of what came first, the chicken or the egg, I guess the paints or the paintbrush. So I'm gonna go right down the line here. Here we have a base coat brush. Now if you remember watching the unboxing video of the Adventurer paint set, we had a starter brush in there. And if we use that as a baseline, as about a number one on the brush scale, let's say that this base coat is a number two. It's a slightly larger brush. It's perfect for base coating, obviously your miniature, blocking in all of those colors. Uh, it's great for painting bigger models. It's an all-around great brush. It's also perfect for washing as well when you're using the washes to add depth and realism to the model. So that's the base coat brush there. Let's go right into the detail brush, get into the details of the matter. The detail brush is the smallest brush out of the four brushes available across the range of Dungeons & Dragons paint sets. Now the detail brush is smaller than our starter brush. It's perfect for painting eyes, belt buckles, even Minsk's earring. Every painter needs a good detail brush, and I highly recommend the Dungeons & Dragons Marvelous Brush Set Detail Brush. Now, as you can see on the back of the packaging, here's a, a brief disclaimer about what the base coat, the detail, and the dry brush do. Now, a dry brush, for those of you that don't know, is great for using the dry brush technique. I'll showcase how you do that here in just a second. Traditionally, when you are painting with a paintbrush, you want to load the bristles fully with paint. Now, dry brushing, on the other hand, you don't. You want to have as little paint on the dry brush as possible, and I'll show you why. And I've got all of those bristles nice and coated, as you can see here. Now, on this little piece of napkin, I'm going to brush off as much as possible. You're just going to flick the paint across. And you see it gives just a slight highlight, as opposed to drawing the paint across the model where it's much darker. You're adding subtle highlights to the model. Dry brushing is a great technique used by some of the world's best painters, but it's a great technique for new painters and beginning painters because it allows you to get great detail and pick out those details very simply. Now let's try the base coat brush and we'll see how that compares. Get a nice big broad line. And you can see when you water down your paints and you thin them down, how you can get great coverage very simply with that base coat brush. Again, you can get some fine details with it, but why do that with a base coat brush when you have a detail brush? Now, detail brush is something that you're gonna always wanna keep in mind with a detail brush, is that when you have fewer bristles on the brush, it actually makes it easier for the paint to dry out. So you're probably gonna wanna go back and add a little bit more water to your paint, and you'll probably be going back to the palette quite a bit more. So here's, let's draw a line with our detail brush. Now you see it's already not even trying its half, maybe a third as wide as our base coat brush, and you can get much finer if you need to. So we've already covered what's in the box with the Adventurers, Monsters, and now Nozzle's Marvelous Brush Set. So what are you waiting for? It's time to get to painting. Painting truly is one of the most fun aspects of the hobby. If you'd like to see how I painted my Minsk and Boo and Owlbear model, be sure to check out those how to paint videos on YouTube. Remember, you can find all of these D&D products and the broader Army Painter range at your friendly local gaming store or at www.thearmypainter.com. Be sure to share your painting adventures with us on Facebook and Instagram at The Army Painter.